All right, guys, we do a, a, another unboxing video. We're going to do this probably in two parts or three parts because I got a, lo a lot of boxes here that I, uh, you know, need to open. And this is a, uh, this package is, is uh, I know what's in it. It's a lot of, uh, well, I'm going to show you. I bought a 50 books plus annuals. Not that I need the annuals, more more like, uh, uh, but, uh, it came with a package, uh, so you go over there. Now, I'm not going to bore you with all these 50s issues from uh, one particular series. If I know how to open this. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to do that with two hands as usual. So, what I'm going to show you anyway, maybe I can show you the covers. I wanted this for a very long time, but it was very expensive. Because I got uh, trade paperbacks of this series, and uh, then somebody offered me, "Hey, Mariners, you want to have the whole series?" Sure, um, because I know this this particular series is pretty good, although it's modern comics, but probably it's one, you know, one of the few modern comics that is actually still fun and good. If I get can can get this out of the box. Oh my god. Let me open this up. Let me use my raw power. Alright. So this is on Chronological. No problem. Oh yeah, okay. So, without further ado, I have here the Immortal Hulk. Uh, so I'm gonna show you all the covers, right? So this is the... I don't know what edition. But a lot of Alex Ross. Except for free, I guess. The rest is all Alex Ross covers. Alright. I can open up and show you what's inside and how it looks like. But um, the Immortal Hulk is pretty good, I think. The Joe Bennett's art is fantastic. Uh, but they went to this horror route with the, with the Hulk. And uh, I wasn't prepared for that and I was, it blew me away. Um, but I didn't read the whole uh, set because I just checked out at some point. Not because of the Hulk, but, you know, modern comics and all that stuff. Because well, I don't, don't want to read it anymore. Uh, and so I thought, you know, I'm going to pick up the trade paperbacks. But then I couldn't get the um, the third uh, volume of the trade paperback. And, uh, yeah, well, that that is about it. And um, so I thought, okay, stop collecting and uh, but then somebody offered me the uh, the complete edition, uh, complete edition. I mean the floppies, right? Now let me put this away. I mean, I'm, first I'm going to show you, you know, these these books, and then I'm uh, maybe you open one or two up. Covers by Alex Ross is great, and I, I like Alex Ross art. A lot and he's doing now a lot of work for Marvel not I'm not sure is he still doing that I think so maybe he has some kind of a contract look at this cosmic uh, piece all right but then um, they canceled Joe Bennett because uh, he said something sensitive on Twitter or on social media, and of course, Model Marvel cannot, uh, you know, cannot comprehend that, or, you know, so they canceled it because, well, social issues and all that stuff. Instead of, you know, just, I don't know, making fucking comics. I like this, you know, with the X Men logo, because Zemnu the Titan is back. I like that. Yeah, I mean, Marvel can, uh, can get wrecked, in my opinion, they can kick rocks. Um, I mean, I remember when people just make stuff and not being online all the time, you know, spouting their personal nonsense. I mean, I don't care if you have a political... Let me open your rest up. I don't care if you have a political view and what your political views are, but if you are just, you know, using your platform to cancel people and, you know, 
get people fired because of your, well, I don't like your uh, politic uh, agenda, so therefore you must be gone. And then your whole livelihood has been, I don't know, destroyed. About that one tweet, Jesus Christ. I mean, there is, there are people in comics industry that did a lot way worse, but of course they don't talk about that, you know. Speaking of the uh, the death of uh, Ed Pisker, you know, uh, but nobody talks about that. You know, from their from their side, right? Because uh, oh, yeah, well, well, it wasn't our fault. They said no, no, no. But I'm not going into that particular part because that's not what my channel is about. But I just wanted to point it out how hypocritical um, Marvel is. So, uh, what do we have here? This is I've. Wait a minute. 32. And this is 35. Where's 33? Oh, I got me also some free comics. Thank you uh, for that. Oh, I like this one. Okay, this this one I keep the rest of them. <laughs> I don't I don't need. I don't I don't collect the expand. Yeah, okay, I like that. Nice. Is this Bart Sears? I believe it's Bart Sears cover. What is this? Did I bought this? I'm pretty sure this is a freebies, right? Um, I bought this one uh, because I'm interested in this uh, this particular storyline. Uh, I like this character as well. She has some kind of a seismic powers or something. Wait a minute. 55. Got a couple of Batmans as well. Right. Outsiders. Nice. I definitely do not buy this. <laughs> I mean, I'm collecting Geo Joe, but not from, uh, how do you say, IDW. So, am I missing something? Oh, oh yeah, I see it already. Um, I'm going to figure this part out a little bit later. Right? Because the main is... Uh, the the whole comics but is this maybe the wrong 32 31 30 ah here it is 33 um you know what i'm gonna open this up now you know what i mean with what it looks like and i I want to do a review about a couple of the comics, but I think I start with this one because I like Zemnu the Titan, and they did something to him because he's normally a space alien with a lot of strength and psionic powers, but then uh, they uh, they made him real uh, weird. <laughs> he looks weird. I mean, I mean. I mean, come on. <laughs> what is he? Oh my god. Right? The art looks great, by the way. Mm. Yeah, they make him all a little bit psycho. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take a swing at the storyline as well, but I have to read it first um, because there's uh, also a new character that is involved, like this, 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 wh whatever this is. <laughs> uh, so I need to figure out what that is. Uh, but yeah, Zemnu the Titan, one of my favorites, uh, super villains of the Hulk. So forty-two. We have uh, the leader, the original leader, not, well, I mean, uh, the leader with this particular look, right? Not the brain look. Uh, so, yeah, this is an, another cover. Don't like that, to be honest. But it's 38, and this is then 35, right? Also, like this, this Hulk face with the very bulky uh, forehead and the short hair. Right, 36, 37, and I also got me, uh, I mean, I got one of two Immortal Hulks, right? Uh, 
And this is um, so this is the, the John Buscema version. I, I like that they're doing this this homage. Um, I mean, I have this one, right? This is the more like the homage from the John Buscema. Uh, looks great. I have this as well. It's getting real. Uh, wait a minute. So let's start again. Here. Look at this cover. This is in hell, I believe. Against the UFOs. I like seeing them back. <laughs> Gyrick. I remember this guy from the Avengers. Look at this, man. It looks fantastic. Not sure if this the whole series is good, but you know, from what I've read, the first two volumes looks pretty, pretty cool. So uh, Betty Ross in her uh, other, uh, I mean, she was this this other flying creature, I believe. What was her name again? I forgot. But she was green, you know, back in the 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 nineties comics. She was transformed into some kind of a, I don't know, like this. But then now she's red because she's a Red Hulk female, just like She-Hulk. Ah, I forget about it. What's what what her code name was? And then we have a thick one, issue number fifty. So this is till on a, I'm not sure if this is the end of the saga, uh, but we're gonna see. So yeah, um, this is the Hulk. Unboxing. Now let's go with the other one. Now I have to put this out of the big box here. Like I said, we're gonna do a two-parter because there's so much that I got and, and you know what? I'm gonna show you. Let me stand. Oh my god. That's a fake one. All right. Okay, let this I need two hands with that. It's pretty. It's not that heavy, but I need two hands to get it out. It's pretty big. All right. Ah, oh, it's stuck. Oof. All right. Now, why we do? What do we have here? Part of the unboxing is the unboxing, right? It's in the name, but there's a lot of uh, tape. Okay, I'm gonna use this back. All right, here we go. Not sure what's inside, it's always a surprise. I knew from the Hulk because it was pr sent pretty quickly to me. Sometimes I have this lying around for a couple of weeks. Oh, wait a minute. No, no bag and boards. Woo, okay. Oh my god. Hmm. I'm sure if I like this, but you see how it's been wrapped? Like in stages or something, you know? It's not bad, but I mean, I'd rather have the, uh, the bag and boards. But, uh, as long as it's not bands, if you know what I mean. So there's a lot of Batmans, by the way, I think. So, you know what? I'm, uh, I need to process this a little bit because I have to get it out a little bit carefully because there's no bag and boards. There's some bags, but no boards. Uh, the other way around, I mean. Uh, all right. So let's start with the uh, Shadow of the Bat. Yeah, I believe this is all Batman's. 
I bought it in bulk. And um, all right, I need to get this out of the way. Mm. Cool. Jim Aparo, it's art. I wish I bought this back in the day, but hey. Because normally if I bought it back in the day, I would have mostly probably everything or the ones that I really, really wanted. Now it's just, you know, I have to look and look and look and say, oh, I missed this, you know, like, oh, 62 and then 63. I need to find that. You know, I really hate that. I cannot stand that. But it is what it is. What are you doing, Batman? Look at these gorgeous covers, man. Wow. What are you doing? All right, let's let's leave it at that here. Yeah, some cool covers. But you know the downside with if there's no back and board, you can see it's a little bit it's not bent, but sort of, right? And just be, and it goes through the mail or the post office. So everybody is taking a swing at this box, and it's just you can say, well, it's it's well packed. Yeah, it is actually it is well packed, but still, you know, people are just throwing it around. And since there is no bag and boards, it's just the chances are big that it's gonna get bent and and. You know, look at this, looks great. Ooh, what's this? Damn it, ads. Nice. Okay. With that to fate. Uh <laughs> now, luckily you have a lot of bag and boards here lying around but still right okay so it's gonna be uh, Hulk and <laughs> and uh, Batman unboxing I guess it's always uh, some kind of game. What the, what the heck is this? Oh my god. Ooh. Look at the cover. The covers are really nice. I like the covers a lot. Uh, new Batgirl. Eagles. Um, Wait a minute, is this, this, could it be, that's Dale Eagleson's art, yeah, I like that, from the GSA books, and also from the Shazam that I need to pick up, I like Dale Eagleson's art a lot, it's probably his earlier work, I think, yeah, definitely, still good, but he evolved a lot through the years. Is this all shadow off the bat? I think so. Okay. So, just give me a second, guys. I need to... Oh, my God. I have way, way more here lying around. Uh, so, yeah. Um, oops. Sorry. So, there's a lot of shadow off the bat. And we're going to continue with a lot of the shadow of the bat or Batman or unboxings tomorrow. So, this is more like a... You know... An unboxing was this zero hour. Yep, it's Alfred. All right. Um, ooh, this is cool. Brett Blevins. I've seen that guy's art before. Yeah. All 
I like this costume. I like this costume way better than what Catwoman is now wearing. I'm not, I'm, I'm not feeling the newer version, personally. Okay, now, before we go into the rest of all the Batman, I, I, I probably think that's boring to watch, unless you are liking Batman. I mean, we're gonna go through all of this uh, later on, but, you know, since I'm doing this in two parts, maybe I can change it up with this one, whatever is in here. This is bag and board. All right. Is it all? Yeah. Weird. Why this and not the other? Okay. Well, I can show you this. Otherwise, it will be all Batman, 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 and I like, don't get me wrong, I like my Batmans. But, you know. All right, so we have the Uncanny X-Men, Legion Quest, right? With Jubilee, when she was a fun character. Oh yeah, there was the part that Colossus sided with Magneto. Wow, ah, Bishop's such a cool character. A new mutants. Why did I pick up a new mutants? I mean, I was planning to get the uh, the omnibus with everything in it. Oh well. Cyborg with uh, George Paris's art. You know, we can we can open this up right now. You know, this is an unboxing after all. Right? It's just it's not all covers and covers and covers. It's not the best condition I see. But you know, who cares? Ooh. Louis Simonson? Bra Bla Brad Blevins! <laughs> Alright. Another Brad that's just a coincidence. I didn't even know that. Oh man, Operation Wolf. Oh, I put so many quarters in that machine. Cool. All right, let's leave it here. I also got me some newer comics I see. And I'm also taking a gamble with, uh, not this one, but with Batman Dark Victory. I believe this is the follow-up of, oh man, I'm blanking, why? Jesus, I have to look it up again. So, but you know, let me show you the covers first. Two. I have the whole set. Solomon Grundy. It's really good condition, by the way. You have to. Oh, I didn't even see that. Love, Fools, Battle, Orphans, Justice, Passion, Two-Face, and then we have Peace. Also got me a Maximum Carnage that I tried to collect, but these are very, very expensive. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, let's open one of this up. Um, yeah, we can do this. Poison Ivy. Careful. Ooh, some kind of a texture around it. Feels very smooth. Damn it, I forgot what this is the follow up. Ah, nice figure. 
Tá? I had a tip of my tongue. <laughs> why can I not? Why can I remember? Ooh. Really sets the mood. It's a moody comic. I can feel it. Yeah, nice. Okay. Probably, we're going to probably take a swing at this too. Uh, but 12 issues is long, so that means I have to... I mean, I promise you I'm going through this a little bit quicker. So that's, you know, with the reviews, I mean, when it comes to... I mean, if this is a four issue, I wouldn't mind, you know, taking, you know, a monthly pause. And then the next one until, you know, four or five weeks is passing by. And then the next one, but, you know, when it comes to 12... Yeah, I'll probably do it a little bit quicker. Anyway, it looks great. So how many minutes are we in right now? 26. Okay. Uh, we're going to stop for now because I have a lot of other comics to show you coming up tomorrow. So stick around. And uh, yeah. See you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.